Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Um, a few results going slightly against the odds you could say. Um, a few VAR decisions um, and I will be talking about them in this video. The midweek ones for the midweek games will be uploaded on Monday. Um, so don't worry about that, that will be covered. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first one is Newcastle versus Manchester City. Um, Newcastle loses 2-0 away from home against um, Aston Villa. Manchester City beating Chelsea 2-1 at home. Um, disappointing Newcastle day. Um, didn't really turn up, um, you know, f like they have been the past couple of weeks. Um, currently sitting in 14th place with just f 5 points off the relegation zone. Um, but as a very disappointing Newcastle team, um, you know, from the get-go. Um, Manchester City beating Ch uh, Chelsea 2-1 at home and much needed three points from Manchester City to keep the pressure on Liverpool. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see what uh, City do for a few coming weeks. They've got a busy Christmas period just around the corner as well. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Manchester City win. My next one is Burnley versus Crystal Palace. Burnley uh, beaten Watford 3 0 away from home. Crystal Palace beaten Liverpool 2 1. No, sorry, losing 2 1 at home to Liverpool. Um, right, I want to talk about this. Crystal Palace game. You shouldn't, obviously, if you know the content on my channel, you know I'm from Brighton, you know I support them. Um, but when I do this, I do this from a neutral point of view. I always have said that. Um, that Crystal Palace goal was ruled out by VAR. Um, I find that an absolute joke. I've seen it. Um, what I don't like about that particular goal being ruled out is there's a slight tub in the back, and because I can't remember what Liverpool player it was, um, jumped up in the air and fell to the ground. They gave a foul. Come on, Premier League. Come on, the match officials be on the screen. Start doing your job. Um, but I found that that's very harshly done by Crystal Palace. Um, probably deserve a point out of that. But obviously walking away with none. Um, but yeah, I think that was a unfair goal disallowed. I think that should have stood. Because um, all you're going to see roughly now is players jumping in the air and then falling over. And then basically getting a foul for it. That's the way it's going in Premier League, so, you know, until you saw it out, this is what we're looking at. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Burnley win. My next one is Chelsea versus West Ham. Chelsea losing 2-1 away from home to Manchester City. West Ham losing 3-2 at home to Tottenham Hotspur. Um, a great three points. Um, sorry, no, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong team. Um, you know, disappointing day for West Ham. Um, it's really hard on West Ham. Just three points out of the relegation zone. Um, but West Ham confused me slightly because West Ham has such a good start this season and you know I just gone tumbling down <clears throat> excuse me um 
But Chelsea, on the other hand, you know, still losing. But I think Chelsea go win this weekend and go with a 2-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Liverpool versus Brighton. Uh, Brighton loses 2-0 at home to Leicester City. Liverpool beating Crystal Palace 2-1 away from home. Um, right. Now, I'm going to talk about this VAR decision in the Brighton game. Uh, right. We all know that infringements in the box have been stopped. Fair enough. Um, we all know that rebounds have been stopped. Fair enough. Um, I don't agree with, and yes, it will be the same event on the Brighton end before you ask. Um, I don't agree with the infringements. Right, let me explain just in case you haven't seen it. Unless the player and the Brighton player infringed the box before the penalty was taken. Because James Madison scored, re scored the rebound, and as I just said, rebounds are not allowed, they were allowed to retake the penalty. Uh, so, Premier League, what you're basically saying is, let's just say, I don't know, Bournemouth had a penalty against Leicester, per se, and uh, you saw, let's say it's a Bournemouth penalty, so a Leicester player finished the box. So a Bournemouth player infringed it as well. Um, Finally, you put the rebound in, you're allowed to retake the penalty. Um, if James Madison missed it, it would have been a goal, a goal kick to Brighton. My opinion is it should be a drop ball. That's just my opinion. Go all the way back to the centre circle and start it from there. That ball ain't going to go down well as well. Um, but I can start seeing the complications with the VAR. Um, but as I said, I don't blame the VAR. The VAR is just a bit like your mobile phones. The PlayStations, you know, it shows the game. It records from your phone, wherever you're doing, and that's all it does. Um, but till the match officials have backed their ideas up, we are looking so downhill with this VAR. Um, but it's going to be interesting. Um, they said they've seen an increase of, what, I think it's about 10% with this VAR. Um, yeah, I'd like to know how, really, Premier League, I mean, you've seen an increase of 10%, don't you mean a decrease, because one other thing I don't understand why I'm on the verge of this Brighton game, because um, obviously you're not a Brighton fan anyway, is you told us at the beginning of the week, us fans in the stadium are going to know more what's going on. Where is it, Premier League? I mean, you've done that VAR decision with Leicester, and there's nothing clearer. So, you know, either back your ideas up or get rid of the VAR, because you're wasting the VAR's time, to be honest. I mean, it could be better filming me, for example. You know, it is just absolutely ridiculous. Or getting your match officials sorted out. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Bournemouth. Tottenham Hotspur beating West Ham 3-2 away from home. Bournemouth losing 2-1 at home to Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton are currently sitting in fifth place. Currently begin back in Europe. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, well, um, I don't know how to quite sum up Wolves at the minute. Um, you know, plus two goal difference, um, 19 points. Another thing I want to say is that this year's table is so tight, it's untrue. I mean, you look at Wall, uh, Norwich down in 18th place to Wolves in, not in 5th place, that's nine points. So Norwich are potentially three, week, three wins away from 5th place and then Wolves are 3 defeats away from relegation zone. It's just so tight, it's unbelievable. Um, but anyway, back to this game. Um, Tottenham, good uh, result under Jose Mourinho. Um, I think Tottenham went 
No, Tottenham three no up. If I'm correct, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you know, very good first game for jo Jose Mourinho, Jose Jose, whatever you want to call him. Um, Bournemouth I'm disappointed at the office as I've already stated. Um, but as far as this game goes, I go for a one-all scoreline for that one. I think Tottenham were very lucky against Olympiacos in the Champions League as well. Um, my next one is Southampton versus Watford. A relegation dog fight already this season. Um, Southampton 2-2. Away to Arsenal. So, um, Watford losing 3 0 at, at home to Burnley. And Southampton went 2 1 up in that game as well. Um, the lights of basically Southampton doing that and you know coming disappointed away with a point at the Emirates. Um, now, no disrespect to Southampton, that just shows how poor Arsenal are, um, in my opinion. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Southampton win. My next one is Norwich versus Arsenal. Arsenal 2 2 at home to Southampton. Norwich beating Everton 2-0 away from home. Everton are another team um, low in confidence. I'll a bit more about that when I get to their fixture. Excuse me. Um, but, you know, you look at this game, Norwich and Arsenal, and you're basically saying You know, Nor okay, Norwich did lose to Brighton the previous, uh, I don't think it was the previous week, so. Anyway, Norwich, Norwich lose a couple of games previous and they can't pick up a result like that against Everton. Um, yeah, again, it shows. Excuse me. Um, yeah, again, it shows how um, poor Everton have been. Arsenal have been poor all season, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Norwich City win. And I can actually see it happening, to be honest. Um, the next one is Wolverhampton versus Sheffield United. Wolverhampton beating Bournemouth 2-1 away from home. Um, Sheffield United 3-3. At home to Manchester United. That game was a brilliant game for me to watch from a um, just from a neutral football fan point of view. Um, yeah, again, VAR decisions in that game. Um, the one was the Sheffield United um, third goal. It stood. Um, my opinion on it, I don't think my opinion has changed, um, if I'm all honest. I said it should have stood, it did stand. Um, the other thing we've got to work out as fans is where do I... S I mean, to me, it hit the ball there, um, which is, as far as I know, part of the shoulder. This is the thing, we don't know where the shoulder ends and where it starts. I mean, you look at your normal arm, you can tell where. But where did the FA count it? That's the question. Um, but to me, it should have stood. It did stand. Um, it was a game that Sheffield United looked like to go all three points at the start, um, at the half-time whistle. The main United came back out 3-2 with... The I think it was about 10 minutes to go, and then Sheffield United scored that third one. That was a very good game. Um, I did I did enjoy it. I will enjoy more football this weekend as well. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a very interesting game between these top two, which I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Leicester versus Everton. Leicester beating Brighton 2 0 away from home. Um, Everton losing 2 0 at home to Norwich City. Um, I spoke about the VAR um, um, you know, that decision. I ain't got to talk about it again. All I am going to say is yes, I was at a Brighton Leicester game. And to me, Leicester deserve all three points. I've always summoned a game up with the 90 minutes. I don't agree with... If one team comes out and plays 45 minutes of great football and then 45 minutes of boring and vice versa for the other team, um, it should be a draw. I know sometimes it doesn't work out like that. But, you know... I think until the Premier League and the FA tighten up on this VAR, decide what's wrong. I mean, if I was part of the FA or the Premier League, I'd rip up the wall book and rewrite it. Because there are so many rules. Another rule that I've barely seen this season is the players supposed to leave the closest side of the field. I've seen that once in, what, 13 Premier League games. Now, to me, how many subs get made a game? Every game? So, why ain't the subs leaving the club? I mean, there's so many rules that the Premier League have brought in and basically just said, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. No, that's a handball. I mean, as I said, I don't blame it on the VAR. You know, but I do blame it on the match officials and the referees and everything else. But until I sort it out, this is what we're looking at. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Leicester City win. My last one for this weekend, and it very much should be an interesting game, a bit of a derby if you like, um, is Manchester United versus Aston Villa. United 3 3 against Sheffield United away from home. Villa beating Newcastle 2 0 at home. Um, this is going to be an interesting game for a load of different um, perspectives and opinions. Man United you know, do well at Old Trafford. Um, you know, I suppose they've got to because they, they ain't doing it away as much as they probably would like. Um, Fidda can play well away from home, but then can also you know, play, you know, a bit iffy away from home. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Manchester United win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fan if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Share with them.